Okay, nice thing about having a personal website is strangers can contact you. I don't know how well uh, the search engines will index the uh, Dropbox website, but I'll go into how to submit your URL to the major search engines. So, let's get started. Number one, I don't recommend you put your personal email address out there for everybody to see. I recommend uh, just getting a free uh, email account somewhere. Favorites, Gmail. Uh, Hotmail's good. Yahoo, I get a little trouble with spam. But it's going to be rather annoying going in every day just to find out you don't have any mail. So what I do is I read Pigeon. It checks all my uh, IM accounts and email accounts for uh, Gmail, Yahoo, and Hotmail. So I don't have to cruise into the website every day. So I recommend you download Pigeon. It's a nice instant messaging program. It just doesn't have voice uh, in it. So that's rather handy. And I told you I'd show you how to use this uh, reCAPTCHA. Sorry, I don't know how to explain it how to pronounce it. So, let's uh, get going. You can set up an account with this. Uh, well, when I first started using this, uh, uh, this Carnegie Mellon University was running it. It's now run by Google. So, Let's see if everything works the same. We're going to click Use on your site. And here it tells you to sign up. Uh, sorry I haven't done this with Google, but if it works the same, we come over here to Email Protection. The account when Melon Carnegie was uh, running it didn't do me any good, so I don't recommend you to, uh, sign up unless you have to. Now yeah, here I have an anonymous uh, email address. I'm going to go in here and just paste it into place. And let's hit protect. Okay, here we have a uh, HTML code if you want to put all that in. But uh, here's a URL. And we'll come back in here to Notepad. And if we want to do the HTML code We'll try this. Okay. Let's go back to my website. And let's go ahead and click on this link that I already have active. Well, I didn't. I didn't need to do that. <laughs> I wanted to show you the code that I used to put this in, and I will show you how to use it in your genealogy program. I'm going to come over here, view, and page source. Let me reduce that down. And it's down here at the bottom. So apparently, 
here's my link. I didn't put in all that uh, HTML code. So technically, all we're going to worry about is, yeah, yeah, probably about that much of the code is what we're going to uh, paste into your genealogy program. Okay, let's get started with the program. Believe you me, I can barely paste HTML code into a web page. So if I can do it, anybody can do it. So let's here I've got open office. Most any word processor will save in HTML. That's all we need. I'm just going to cl click to web layout and let's make a message for them. Doesn't matter what you put in here. Please check sources and if you have any corrections, please let me know. And I'm going to put in contact and we're going to center all this. It'll just look nicer on your web page. Now here I'm going to add a link that we got from reCAPTCHA. So I'm going to add a hyperlink. Come down here. Here's the URL we were given. And paste it in. We'll want to make sure it's a web page. Okay, and click apply. Close. Okay, now all we do is file, save as, I'm going to put it on my desk, desktop folder, and put in, just name the file, and let me raise that up so you can see it. Down here, HTML document. We click that, click save, keep current format. Okay. Now here's the contact HTML code. A lot less work if you learn it, but I'm too lazy to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to open with Notepad. Now, here's what the code looks like. And all we have to do is here's aligned center, so we're going to need that. I suppose you can go from body to body that much of it. Uh, but that's all we need to copy paste into our program. So here I've got PATH going. I figure if PATH can do it, anybody can do it. You'll have to just figure out how to do it in your software. And if you have any questions how to do it and you're using a free program, let me know and I'll try to help you. Okay, we're going to go and create a web page and do ancestors, descendants, 
selected individuals. Uh, I'm just going to keep it as is. Okay, I don't want to give them my address. <laughs> and not safe on the internet. So no, we're... And no, we're go not going to put in our email address. Easy way for you might be yes, but to hide the pet, hide the email address, let's click no. And let's go over here to advanced HTML. And here's the HTML code to appear at the bottom of the page. And I'm just going to paste what we, whoops, that's just the URL. We need the whole code. So let's go back here, copy, and this will appear at the bottom of each page. Very useful. Okay. Yeah, body to body. And click OK. And My genealogy. Okay. Does require that. If you want an image, you can put that in. But I'm going to let you guys ex explore and have fun with that. Learn your program. And we're going to click finish. And okay. Okay, let's hold on a minute while I find it. Ah, sorry about that. Path put it in a weird place. <laughs> That's what I get for using a program I don't use very often. But I finally found it. And here's the tree. And as you can see, it's fully functional. Down at the bottom of every one, thank you for visiting. Please check sources, and if you have any corrections, please let me know. And here's the contact link. Okay, now we the link took us to this page. So we're going to type in the words. Oh boy, that's a hard one. P Y L. Can't tell if that's a P or an A. We'll try it. Yeah, what they do is they use this to uh, double check their OCR programs on their digital books. That's why I really like using this. Okay, had to take script block here off. B Y P Y L. Okay, I think that's wrong, but let's see if it lets us in. Ah, it let us in. And here's the email address I added. So, hope that helps you. Uh, won't be long and you'll actually be able to create a complete website on your own domain. <laughs> so, as always, enjoy.